and welcome to another week of Python on Hardware. Yay, it's a blink of time. That's right. So we have a few things. This is a guide. Uh, Lady Ada wrote this one. Yeah. This what? one's pretty exciting. So, you know, we have CircuitPython. It works great on these small microcontrollers. A lot of people want to then connect to the internet, right? Because the internet's amazing and great and has cat photos. So how can you get those cat photos from the internet to your CircuitPython board? Well, um, we started writing a CircuitPython library for interfacing with ESP8266 and 32 modules in like their AT modem mode, which is pretty popular. Um, and you can like get stuff from the internet and you can even connect to uh, SSL TLS sites and stuff. So we a little a basic demo just to demonstrate it working um, where it will get the Bitcoin price. Yeah, and this is not from us. This is uh, from Jerry in Discord uh, and he was able to use the particle... Argon. Argon. Yeah, which actually is an ESP. Sorry, it's ESP32 connected to an NRF 52840, yeah. which we now support in Circuit Python, and and like he's just bleeding edge. He's like, let's even get them talking to each other, and he did. And so, it, at the time, it was three thousand two hundred forty-six dollars. So, if you're looking for an easy way to do IoT stuff, and you want to use an 8266 or a 32 ESP32, yep. uh, we got that. Uh, next up, this is exciting. So, if you got this. Uh, Arduino laying around, and you're like, boy, I'd like to write CircuitPython on it. Um, a new guide from Sean Heimel shows you how. Yeah, it, it goes through a couple details. Um, first off, you know, he made a fork of the uh, UF2 bootloader and then submitted a pull request. So the bootloader, you know, even works properly with the right LEDs. And then shows how to use um, Arduino to load the bootloader in because you want to um, use our happy drag and drop bootloader. And then uh, he made a variant for CircuitPython. Um, you know, it runs great on the SAMD21, but he made it work with all the pins that's on the Maker Zero. So, you know, the SD card works and all the pins are the labels that you want. Um, super easy, if you have a SAMD21 board, uh, submit a pull request. You know, we are looking to support as many boards as possible. If it's a SAMD21 or SAMD51, NRF52840, NRF those are our core chipsets. And uh, that's all on GitHub. Um, speaking of, we hit 1,000 repos, and a lot of it is Circuit Python. That's 1,000 yeah. open source uh, hardware and software libraries. So thank you, everyone out there who's not only contributed, but um, you have lots of choices out there when you decide to buy electronics. And people always say, well, why do you guys give everything away for free? Well, this is why, because we get contributions, and also the community rewards us. So thanks. There's a little Blinka and Octocad and made about yeah, there. Cute. Okay, uh, Raspberry Pi featured uh, one of uh, my favorite new products out there, which is our Cricut hat Oh yeah, for Raspberry Pi. Yeah. We put some in stock and they sold out again, but we're making more. Yeah, so um, if you ever wanted to do any type of robotics on Raspberry Pi, this makes it super duper easy, and there's a giant write-up. Uh, Lady Ada did a mm. guest post on raspberrypi.org. Check it out. It's great for automation. It drives NeoPixel servos motors um, it has an audio amplifier built in with i2s yep. audio so it's it's kind of everything you need to make interactive art i kind of just jam-packed it um capacitive touch it's got a usb yeah. converter built in um people yeah, are doing self-driving cars with it and stuff like that it gives you eight analog inputs pwms so it's kind of like a great co-processor i think it's a, a big improvement yeah. over the you know strap an arduino to it so here is uh, this was from blitz city this is a light up uh, pop figure stand using Circuit Python and NeoPixels. Cute. Uh, also, this is kind of neat. This is a heat tracking robot. This is using Circuit Python. Super cute robot. Wherever you point the bot to, uh, this will, uh, or sorry, the, the heat source. Yeah, you can see the red is hotter and there's like an AMG 8833 8x8 camera. So it can tell, I guess it's a heat pack, and it can tell where it is and it will point towards it and maybe drive through yeah. uh, towards it. Eventually. Um, we posted this before, but John Gallagher has this really cool video about teaching um, hardware in Python for a business class. And they start out with MakeCode, and then they went to Circuit Python. Next up, uh, Python snakes its way to calculators. Uh, this is a series of things that have been happening. So we posted about this as well. This is the new Casio, the French edition, and it has uh, Python on it specifically. MicroPython. Mm -hmm. and, and we uh, tried the other one. That, yeah. But this is a real, it's also Casio. So it's interesting. Casio is clearly going all in. Yeah, they're just like, hey, we are definitely going to have Python on calculators. Mm. Uh, this came in from uh, Stanford's Lab64. And this is a really cool CircuitPython variant. So all aboard, it's a snowflake that has yeah, NeoPixels. They kind of took the Feather schematic, which is open source, it's on GitHub. 
to one of those 1,000 repos, and then um, they kind of spread it out, put it on the back of a board. On the other side, they put a bunch of NeoPixels, and then they also made a couple of ad adjustments to CircuitPython, so it you know, knew that these NeoPixels existed. Plug it in, and like you know, it's so easy. You just edit the code.py, and you can start drawing designs yeah. on um, your Snowflake. It's you know, if you want to get people going making custom ornaments in less than an hour, this is kind of the only way. Also, all the students were able to participate because it's easy to do. And they built it themselves. Uh, Grogar posted up this. This is the Linux Feather. This is one of the pinout diagrams. Mm, it's kind of cool. So yeah. some hard work coming soon. I think that pull request is going into Blinko real soon. And uh, this person showed up in our Discord, and they said, hey, look what I'm working on. It's ESP32 um, and uh, SD card and... Uh, a 7051. Which is actually, ironically, I, by the way, I didn't plan you know, having people already start to design hardware with that coprocessor code yeah. that we started at the beginning with but i'm like i think this person actually is one of the people who worked at stanford i was like oh like you're in luck like i have already written the code yeah. for this check out this esp32 driver library so you can connect to the internet with your feather but this is a jam-packed feather Look at that, everything we also um posted up some more previews this is the metro m4 grand central this is a uh, silk screen arduino mega shaped but it is powerful and circuit python so that's the When's front it come this in? Is the back. Yeah, so. don't ask um, this will probably be in the store next week or so. Uh, this is the long-awaited Adafruit NRF 52840 Bluefruit Feather. It'll run CircuitPython yeah. and our Arduino core. Yay! Um, help Wanted. If you've been looking at uh, the, the tweets, um, you'll notice Terry from MCCI has been posting this really cool Linuxy Feather while they're looking for a writer web wrangler so if you like python you like fpga you like feather um like they're looking yeah yes. lorawan they're looking Tets. for someone to help them with their web presence so that's certainly something to check out jobs.adafruit.com is where you gotta go uh events coming up um there's a few that just happened so uh we're continuing to remind everyone may is pycon we'll probably have something cool there we're still looking for help on translating the messages in circuit python check out our blog posts and more on that, you can also just do a pull request on GitHub. The CircuitPython awesome list just got updated. Check out all the things there from every resource, link, news, you name it, including the resources that point to this newsletter. Um, we also are up to 9,400 something on Discord. Uh, join us there. That's where we build CircuitPython in the open. We are now officially celebrating two years of this newsletter. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, this has been a great year. Um, the thousands of people who uh, read this or listen to it or watch this now, um, thank you. Um, share it with friends, and this is our spam-free newsletter that we're really proud of. Um, it's all part of the Code Plus community with CircuitPython, and since this is the holiday edition, we're going to leave you with a season's greeting from Adafruit. So bye, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.